And I was an orphan, I remember waiting for hope. Won't you help us bring them hope? Through the experiences of our adoptions, God opened our eyes to what we hadn't seen clearly before, His heart for the orphan. As a matter of fact, the Bible mentions caring for widows and orphans over 40 times. Because our eyes were open to the need, our family has embraced the challenge of James 1.27. We are no longer just content to feel bad when we hear stories and see pictures of hurting and abandoned children. We have been called to act. According to Barna studies, 43% of all Christians today were saved before the age of 13, and 64% were saved before the age of 18. These statistics show how important it is to lead children to Christ at an early age. All early understanding of who God is needs to be made prior to these ages. But I have raised you up for this very purpose that I might show you my power and my name might be proclaimed in all of the earth. Exodus 9.16 There are more than 147 million orphans in the world today. Most of us can't even imagine the life of an orphan child because we can't even fathom one day without clean water food, education, and the love of a family. As many of you may or may not know, Guatemala closed their doors to U.S. adoptions, leaving over 350,000 children in Guatemala abandoned and alone. These children face dark influences of malnutrition, poverty, illiteracy, human trafficking, disease, and hopelessness. And yet these children have no one to hold them when they're sick, no one to pick them up when they fall and no one to tell them that they're a beautiful child of God. True religion that God the Father accepts as pure and flawless is this, to look after orphans and widows and then it says, James 1.27. Well, we're thrilled and honored that God has called our family to serve in Guatemala. One of the most humbling experiences so far is asking people for financial support. But the Lord reminds us over and over that this isn't about us or our ability to do this, or else we would get the credit. Then I heard the voice of the Lord say, Who shall I send? Who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. Isaiah 6 8. This is about the body of Christ coming together and doing what we've all been called to do some as senders and some as goers. We would love to have you partner with us in prayer, visiting us on a mission trip, or financially. So please be a part of our team. We can't wait to get to Guatemala. Come visit us. We are two to be on our team.